These are the remains of the battleship Prinz Eugen. The Prinz Eugen is one of five battleships of the Admiral Hipper class the German Kriegsmarine built and operated during World War II. It was launched on the 22nd of August, 1938 in Kiel. At the end of World War II, Prinz Eugen turned out to be too complicated to be operated by the U.S. Navy, as it still required hundreds of Germans to run the ship. It was the only battleship that survived the war and kindly allowed to participate in Operation Abel and Baker, its final death honor. Prince Eugen sank on 22nd December 1946 in the Kwajalein Atoll. As any diver can imagine, I was extremely excited to dive the wreck. It was the warm-up or check dive on our way to the Bikini Atoll where even more wrecks would wait just for us to admire how they silently rust in the Pacific Ocean and dissolve into entropy so that the last anchor for our memory to this inglorious part of our history can also fade away. During my research to this blog post, my viewpoint on wreck diving changed. In the water, I was just excited. Everything was awesome and it was so cool to make a check dive on the Prince Eugen. Wreck diving feels like exploring alien spaceships in outer space. Wrecks are very special graveyards. Capital battleships were the pinnacle of the combined knowledge and economic power of nations. They deserve more respect. I bow in awe to the engineers and craftsmen who built those icons of human potential. It was a relatively small battleship, as Germany was bound by the treaty battleship definition from Versailles and the Anglo-German naval agreement in tons of displacement, number of ships, and caliber of the turrets. Besides the contracts, it was strategically impossible for Germany to operate capital battleships. The coastline simply did not allow to get into the Atlantic Ocean. The design of those contracts was most probably driven by old man living in the past and enjoying heroic oil paintings and historical galleon battles. Considering the given limitations, the design was great. Prince Eugen was fast, very fast. It had a top speed of 32.2 knots or 60 kilometers per hour. The main turrets had a range of nearly 30 kilometers to deliver a payload of 120 kilograms of devastation four times per minute combined with excellent targeting devices. Battleships were extremely expensive. The costs of about 100 million Reichsmark are not easy to convert. Today, it would be nominally valued at around 500 million euro, according to Bundesbank conversion factors, but considering short supply and knowledge and material at that time, it must be somewhere around one to two billion euros. This qualified battleships to the very top targets. Once spotted, they could be relatively easily countered by torpedoes or aircraft. I think battleships were already strategically outdated and obsolete at the time they were built, just as knights in medieval times when crossbows and gunpowder came into the game. Extreme prestige and extreme foolishness. However, Prince Eugen was quite successful in its only significant sea battle at the Battle of the Denmark Strait on 24th of May 1941, far in the north of the Atlantic Ocean. Trying to sneak out from the East Sea with the flagship Bismarck, the convoy was spotted and the Royal Navy prepared a warm welcome. Within minutes, Bismarck and Prince Eugen sank the pride of the British Royal Navy, the HMS Hood. The Bismarck took a serious hit in the stern. The HMS Prince of Wales retreated. Prince Eugen escaped, but Bismarck was hunted down as Churchill ordered to sink the ship regardless of efforts and lives. Again, battleships were obsolete easy and obvious targets.